All right, so here we are once again with our two point perspective building. So what I'm going to do from here, <clears throat> I want to create kind of a, um, columns that are going to come down and kind of mimic this one down below. If you see that I've actually created um, some shadows and highlights, you can see it really, really well from there. I'm going to keep the camera on this side of things so you can see what's going on. Wow, I just love it. It looks like it's actually holding it down. Alrighty, so from here I'm going to take it and I'm going to create another column. It's going to be the same angle as this one right in this side. I'm going to bring my ruler across because I want to keep with that same straight angle. And then I'm going to bring my column down. So that's going to be the center line that I ended up erasing over here. Same thing with the opposite side. I'm going to take this and make sure that they are all still this line that I want for it, and I'm going to bring it all the way straight down. So I have two of them. I want this one to be a little bit larger because it is so far away from the first one. There we go. Now from here, I'm going to take this, I'm going to do my vintage point lines. I'm going to reach across. Same with this. Gonna make sure that it still lines up so I will end up curving it like I did with the first pole. Remember if yours gets a little too far you can always use that string to bring it all the way back down. All right, now I have to do the opposite side. So I need it to come on over to my second point. I'm gonna do a smaller column or a smaller line. I'm gonna bring this one straight down. Remember I'm creating this round column that's holding up each of my ends of my boxes. All right, here's where this one gets a little bit tricky. I want it to continue with that two-point perspective vanishing point, so I need to make sure that they're lined up on either side. Otherwise, remember, it gets so weird. If they're not exactly the same, then they will not look right. Then I'll throw this entire project off. All right, so I have these two columns coming down. Now I do want to make them curved. So the same way I curve this one up here, I'm gonna take this, so I'm gonna start curving it over, curving this one down. And this one towards the back end because I want these curved columns instead. Same with this, curve it over, curve it. So I have a little bit more of a curve to it and I'm going to erase this line in the center because that's actually how I'm going to be able to tell and show the viewers that that is the piece that is the closest to my eye level. So it's gonna be the brightest, just like I did with that first column. So I'm erasing everything that's behind it as I go. And it's gonna really end up looking like this building is coming together. So I'm gonna end up putting a bunch of windows into it as well in just a moment. So I'm shading this so I can see it. I know I said you didn't need a whole lot of shading in this beginning process, but I found that it really does help so that we can see that these are two three-dimensional objects on a two-dimensional surface. So you guys can go ahead and do that for me, and then you'll really start to see it coming alive with all of yours, whether you're doing the room, the cathedral, any of the prompts. Alrighty, now I'm also gonna go ahead and put onto it, I want a nice, um, window kind of coming down in here. So I'm going to do a few different lines because I want like a column of windows on either side. These are going to be like homesteads right here. So to do that, I'm going to take my ruler. I still want it to have this same angle right here because the windows aren't going to be going this direction. They're going to go right here with the structure that I've already created with it. It's just going to be a line of windows coming down. Make sure that it's still even here. I'm going to bring it across 
and another line of windows. I'm going to skip this box right here because that's going to be on top of it. I'm going to do the same thing with this one on this side. So I'm going to try and evenly distribute my ruler. I'm going to bring it down. Skip that box that's on top. Going down a little bit further. Not quite to the bottom. I'm going to do it again because I want two lines of windows. Make sure it's parallel. I'm going to bring it from the top. Skip this box and come on down. Alrighty, so I'm getting started with them. Cool. Now over here, I'm going to do another row of windows on this side as well. So I do want to have some more windows coming in this direction with them. I'm going to make sure that these are nice and even. And again. Now I just have a lot of columns on this box. It's going to end up making a little bit more sense once we do put the windows into it, but for now it just looks like I have a lot of columns on here. All right, here we go. 